Hi everyone, it's Darlene and welcome to this week's card video. Um, believe it or not, the butterfly is just colored right onto that Paisley stamp. Um, it really pops. I like the way it turned out. Uh, first I started with some Nina Cellar White cardstock and I stamped this Paisley uh, background by Penny Black using some Memento Black Tuxedo ink. And I'm using Nina paper because and Memento ink because I'm going to be using some Copic markers. I've got this die cut from Stampin' Up! and um, I can't remember the name, oh, Top Note, that's the name. And I also cut a piece of black using that same die, <coughs> and now I'm white embossing my sentiment on that piece. And just heating it up to set it, and then I'm gonna adhere it to the bottom. This is a butterfly stamp set from Hero Art, and it's pretty old. I really like the butterflies in here though, I've used them quite a bit on my blog. And I'm stamping it in again, Memento ink, and I've got my Copic markers ready to go here. And instead of using the all over light color like I usually start off with, I started with my dark, and that's mostly because I feel like my lightest color is running out of ink and I didn't want to run out before it was time. <laughs> so um, anyway, so I'm starting with the dark instead of the lightest, and uh, so I've got the darkest purple on the edge there, and I'm going to use my lighter purple. I've just got two shades of purple. And I'm going to blend that out toward the center of the butterfly. And you can actually blend two different colors together. So here I'm taking my lightest blue and I blend it right into the purple. And add just a little bit more dark in the center. So I'm going to do this other side the same exact way. So I've got my dark color first and then my medium blue, which I'm going to blend out. And then the lightest. And then I go back in with my dark purple right on the edge. And my area is pretty small, so I'm doing the whole thing at the same time. And I'm just creating um, the blending with just some tiny little circles. And then back in with my lightest color, going right up against that purple. And I realized that I needed a little bit more darker colors on the left side there to make them even. And then I took a Stampin' Up! basic black marker and I used my brush tip to color in the edges and I think that really made it pop. I took some Doodlebug twine and um, what I do is I put a little bit of adhesive on the back and then I take my 2A glue pen pen and I just run a line across the top and then I just mash it right in there and it sticks immediately. I know y'all know how much I love my glue pen. And I snip off the edge. And I have a uh, Sizzix die which is by Stampin' Up! and it's just, it dry embosses some lines and notice that I have my, my card is actually cut an eighth of an inch shorter than a normal size card and then I adhered it to a flat black piece and um, my black piece is actually the size of a regular card and that way you can open it up and it's white um, and you don't have to have your card base be black and that avoided one extra layer for me. And then I realized I forgot to do the gray so I used a C4 and a C1 which is just some gray on the edges and that created a little bit more of a shadow pop for the butterfly. And that's it. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. See you next week.